Here it is, Sam back once again, and yes, we're here with Moomer Unboxing. This time we're going to have a look at the Moto G that we got at the Motorola event. So, let's check it out. So yes, as you know, I was at the Motorola event where they announced the three new phones, and pretty much everyone in attendance walked with the Moto G. Now, it is on sale at the moment for your various carriers, so if you want to check one out, I'll put a link in the description, you can go check on it and maybe buy one. Maybe you want to hold off until you see my review and some more features of the phone. So we'll take you around the device, it's around the box, it's sir, sir. At the top, nothing. Side, nothing. Purple, purple. Yay, the new myth, purple, purple. On the back of it, just kind of gives you Motorola, gives some more indication of where it is. Motorola.com, yes, 4G LTE and the Moto kind of branding on it. On the bottom of the box, I believe it's got some of the... Kind of tells you like the IMEI, etc. It tells you this is a two gigabyte uh, RAM, two gig of RAM and 16 gigabyte internal memory. Now there are two, there are two variants of it. Now there is this one, which is 16 gigabytes internal, and two gig of RAM or eight gigabytes internal and one gigabyte of RAM. Bit confusing why they did that with the RAM, because yeah, but I guess it's kind of a cost cutting measure. And mine is this colour, so it's got black with like a little orange on there. Said to um, Geekanoids on Twitter as well as Super Saf TV, in regards to he got a nice looking yellow one, did Super Saf, whereas I wasn't too happy at first, but it kind of grown me as this kind of this colour. I mean, I like the orange, but I would have liked a funky looking back colour, but hey ho, you can't really complain, can you? It's still a nice looking device. So, nope. Yeah, we've got it's the Motorola Moto G. It's got the front facing speakers. We'll go through some of the main options or specifications of the phone in just a moment or two. So it just tells you how to take the back off the phone. So yes, you can replace the back switch again. We'll come to later on. And all you're going to get is a micro USB cable. That pretty much it. You don't get any charger as such. Because you're generally going to have one from your old phone, aren't you? So Moto G, read me. Mm, no. And so, no. And we don't need that either, so I'll tell you what, they can all go off to the side. And here it is, yes. And I must say, it feels like a bloody nice, you know, nicely built phone. And, and I like the fact that they've taken the full design cues from the Moto X. And it's kind of got this nice kind of, you know, kind of bendy stuff around the sides. Going all down as well. It just looks a lot nicer than it did previously. Now, I had the previous one, as you know, I did quite a few videos on it. And it's a very nice little phone, I must, I must admit. This one. We'll soon see if it can actually compete with it. So as you can see there, it's got the uh, power button, the volume up and down, nothing else. On the top of it, it's got the secondary microphone and also has the 3.5mm headphone jack. Down the left side, absolutely nothing. And on the bottom of it, it's just got your micro USB for charging and syncing it. And it's got the microphone somewhere around there. Don't know where, but it's somewhere around there. Um, and also got your little uh, clip there to take your back off. On the back of it here, as you can see, dun dun dun, we have our 30 megapixel camera with a two-tone, yes, a two-tone dual LED flash. Must admit, I'm kind of surprised that they managed to put that kind of technology in it. I know it's only two-tone, but you don't normally get it at a low render price. It's normally reserved for your HTC One, like your, your expensive ones, or your Samsung Galaxies. Although I don't think Samsung have done the dual tone. Can't remember. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> Let's take the back off this phone and we'll give you a bit of a better look in the back of it as well so i can actually oh, get it off so as you can see here this is where you'll be putting your if you can uh, focus it's upside down but you've got your sim there and your micro sd so yes it only comes with 16 or 8 depends on which one you buy uh, but you can expand it by up to 128 gigabytes, I believe it is, which is pretty damn funky. So if you do decide to do this via Moto Maker, if you don't know what Moto Maker is, I will put a link down below. Um, you can change the color of this. Now I don't believe once you've changed this color, you can never take it off. It's that is it. That is there forever. Same with the buttons as well. But you can buy replaceable backs. So if you buy, as an example, not the black and the orange, tell you what, I want a yellow back. Just buy a new back, bang it on, job done. Kind of takes you back to the old Nokia days with regards to the kind of all the replaceable covers and stuff like that. It seems to be going to be making a revival, hopefully. And as you can see the front of it here, let's just take this off there. To be greeted with the 5 inch display. Now it's a 720p display from what I can remember. Again, it's got your front facing speakers there, as well as to show you here the 5 megapixel front facing camera. So, yeah, even though it's the entry level phone. 
It's got a 5 megapixel front facing camera and a 13 on the back. Now, I believe what Motorola said is that this is the same camera that's in the Nexus 6, from what I can remember. I believe that's what they said. Which is pretty damn impressive. So, on their cheapest phone, you're getting front facing speakers, a 30 megapixel and a 5 megapixel on the front. That's not bad, is it? Let's be honest. That is pretty damn good by anybody's standards. Now, this does ship out, out of the box with Android 5.1.1, which is awesome. And it does support Bluetooth 4.0, I think it is. It's also got an FM radio, which, again, you don't not really seen at this kind of like kind of price point. It's got GPS, assisted GPS with GLONASS as well. Uh, micro USB 2 on the bottom of it. And it can be used uh, USB host, which I think is also known as um, on-the-go OTG cable. So you can use that with this actual device as well. Now the battery capacity is not removable, but it's 2,470 milliamp hours, which is not bad. To be fair, it's not not bad at all. And it, it's pretty impressive that again, for a cheap phone, or should I say, for the entry level phone, don't want to be saying cheap because it's not a cheap cheap phone, but it's their entry level device. Now last but not least, obviously you want to know it's got Gorilla Glass three on the front of it, and inside the actual device it is a quad core 1.4 gigahertz I believe and I think it's a Snapdragon 410 actually no it is the Snapdragon 410 and again mine runs 2 gigabytes of RAM there are there is a smaller version with 1 gigabyte and the um, GPU is the Adreno 306 I think it is I'm saying I think it's quite a lot but yeah it's the Adreno 306 as well inside there and again it is a full 5 inch display now I must admit for the price you're going to be paying for it it seems like it's going to be a pretty damn good device. I mean, I'm going to reserve judgment for just now because it's not all about price. It's how does it perform? Because if it's cheap, but it's not very good, then it's kind of like, well, what's what's the point in it? But do you have any questions about it? Because if you do, you know what to do by now. You can hit me up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Yes, at Sam J. Pullum. If you're new to your channel, please do hit subscribe because it is free. And go on, while you're there, take the like button. I know you want to. <laughs> Anyway, people, thanks for watching this one. Again, a little bit shaky over my videos recently because I've not done for quite a while. But again, hopefully, I had this bad boy unboxed recently and now I've done this one as well. So we'll have some more videos coming up very, very shortly. Anyway, I appreciate you watching and you shall hopefully see me in my next video. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.